For all of you who are shooting video in your DSLR, you are gonna love this. Finally, Lightroom is doing a little bit more than just cataloging our videos. We can actually bring in our videos, including AVC HD and move formats from things like the 5D, 7D, etc. But you can bring them in here, you can look at them inside Lightroom, you can preview them, you can even trim the in and out points and check this out. The quick develop module works on it and we can go in and we can actually create custom presets and apply different types of looks to our video. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to throw up a, a couple of presets that I'm going to make for you to just play around with and have some fun. So grab those from photoshopcafe.com forward slash Lightroom. Now let's jump in and have a look and see what we can do with video. One of the uh, new features inside Lightroom 4 beta is the ability to support video. Well, in Lightroom 3, there was some support for video too, but it was very crude. It's much better now. Let me show you. Let me just go here. We've got a, uh, a little video here. We can see we can clip on the, the videos here. Or, of course, we could, you know, double click on these and we can look at them here as thumbnails. And notice as I move, as I scrub my mouse, we can actually scrub through that video. And I'm not doing anything. I'm just rolling over it. And it's showing that it's a video. Let's find another one there. We're rolling over. We can see that. And now if we want to actually watch the video, let's double click it. And in the past, it opened in another application. If you remember, in Lightroom 3, it would just pop up in QuickTime. Uh, now we can just sit here and we can actually sit here and we can play. We can watch the uh, video right there within Lightroom. One of the other options is if we go over here, you'll see there's two little uh, buttons here. If we click the first one, this will expand it and we can actually see the timeline. So now we can scrub through the timeline through our video. Let's go here and then we decide, you know, at this point here, she goes up past the camera. I'm done. I don't need all these dead frames. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the end, trim it away. And let's go from the beginning. And then right at this point, let's say we're starting here. So we're going like that and now we can just play the video. And it will trim it just exactly to that little section there. So you can see how easy that is to do. Um, one of the other things we can do too is we can actually make adjustments to the video if we want. We can go under the quick develop here and you'll notice that we can change things here. We can't do a lot with the white balance but we can choose a custom white balance here and we can change the temperature just by clicking. Notice that. Um, we've got you know all the other ones that you would see here under the auto adjustments here under the uh, quick develop sorry. We can change the exposure a little bit. We can play around with that. We can play around with the contrast. But, but as you know, this is kind of limited what we can do there. One of the things that we do have is we have the ability now to take a preset. If we go under here, we can do you know, even some of the presets that I've done in the past. And I can click on these and notice how it changes the video just like that. And we can just sit here and we can watch now. And we've got this nice feel there. So you can see how easy it is to just colorize and create different looks for our video. Now this is this is a great feature. This is huge. Uh, but one of the things that you might want to do too is if we want to go back down here and I just want to just hit the uh, reset all here. Where are we? I scrolled down a little bit far. I just hit reset all. So we're going to go back to our original. If you notice when we click this little option here, you've got two options here. We can capture a frame or we can set a poster frame. Now a poster frame is just basically the thumbnail that shows while we're going through the library module. So what we're going to do is we're going to capture a frame. And let's capture this frame right here or wherever we scrub in the video. In this case, I'm going to go right here. I'm going to capture this frame. And then when I do that, notice we've got a frame here, which is just showing as a still image. Now what we can do is we can go into the develop module here and because we can't go into develop module with the uh, video but what we can do is we can do it if they're still. So what we're going to do now is create a custom preset that we like on this and then we're going to apply it to the whole video. So let's play around. We'll go something a little bit interesting. Let's warm it up just a little bit. Uh, we could tint it a bit if we wanted. In fact I, I am going to tint it just a little bit into the greens. Uh, let's really punch the contrast up on this. And I'm just going to play around with the exposure a little bit. So obviously, you know, we're just we're just fooling around trying to have some fun here. So let's go for a kind of a more pseudo HDR-y kind of a look here. Obviously not the most flattering for our model, but once again, we're just going for a special effect. And we'll put the blacks in. Let's go down here, play around with our clarity. We could really sharpen it up, or we could drop it down, make it softer. Let's make it a little softer. 
Let's pull the saturation back. And I'm going to push up the vibrance just a little bit. And then we get this kind of cool, kind of washed out kind of a look. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this as a preset. So I'm just going to go over to the presets and then click plus. I'm just going to call it video X just for video experimentation. I'm going to put it under uh, my preset folder under colon. I'm going to click create. Now we'll go back to the library panel. Grab our video. Let's double click our video here. There we go. And now what we're going to do with this video is we're just going to apply our preset. So we're going to go back under our presets. Go under colon. And then we've got this one that we just created, Video X. Let's apply it. And bam, we've got that whole thing applied to that video. And you can watch it in real time. So you can see that that's just you know, a lot of fun. There's a lot of stuff we can do because we're capturing a lot of video now on on our still cameras, our 5D Mark II, which is this was shot on, but also, you know, a lot of different uh, consumer cameras now do video as well as uh, some of the HDSLR cameras. So as you can see, we've now got a lot more we can do with video in Lightroom. We can start to play around with these presets and have custom looks. We can trim the in and out points and preview them. Now, you know, obviously if you want to do more uh, video editing, you want to use a program like Premiere or, or even Photoshop Extended. So anyway, that's the video feature and uh, play around with it. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it.